Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the new Ethera Free Antivirus 2018. And as you can see, if I scroll down now, they have got a nice cool new looking design, as you can see here on my screen. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we've got next gen antivirus protecting tomorrow, today. According to them, anyway. They've also got real-time cloud scanning, which is pretty awesome, as I've explained in the past. You really want real-time cloud scanning now, as it's the future when it comes to antivirus programs. And if we scroll down a little bit more, they've got their pro version there on the right with the pros, and then the free version on the left with the pro. Right, we're now going to smash that free download button. And we're going to go ahead and press save file. Once the file is saved, we can now run the setup file. And we can go accept and install. We're now going to press skip all as we don't want to install anything else with Ethera. Once Ethera is finished installing, we can now hit start Ethera free antivirus. And here is our main screen for the antivirus program. It's got quite a nice cool new look to it, I must admit. It looks a lot better than the old-fashioned outdated look they used to have. And let's just have a little look what we got then. On the left here we got our status. Your computer is nice and secure and everything's up to date. That's nice of them telling me that on our main screen. We've got real-time protection on as you can see and we've got our firewall protection on. If you want web protection you've got to pay extra for that as it's a pro feature. We can run a nice quick scan there at a simple click of a button. If I just click that quickly we'll have a look see what the screen looks like. And as you can see... It has still got the old outdated feel and look to it when you actually do a scan. Unfortunately they've not updated that yet but I'm pretty sure they will do soon. I'm going to go ahead and stop that scan now as I don't actually want to do one. But that is how you run a scan on Ethera. Nice quick and simple and as you can see here it's got the statistics. Once you've done a full scan it have it all there, the massive report which is great. We can now press close and go end. If we go down we've got our scan page there and we can do a full scan if we would prefer instead of doing a quick scan. We've got a custom scan if you've got a specific folder you'd like to scan or a file that you'd like to scan that you just downloaded off the internet. And we can also schedule a scan. If we click on stairs, yes, that is still the main screen. I didn't know if it done a little pop out or not. If we go down now, we've got modules, which is our real-time protection and our firewall protection. And then, as you can see, web protection and mail protection is obviously for pro users. We got our quarantine which is where files that are detected as a virus will be stored and if you want to restore the file because it's not a virus you can obviously select the file and then click restore. If we go down now we got our activity which is everything that's been going on with Ethera which is great. If we click in the top left hand corner here we've got an arrow and we'll just see what the arrow does. Okay, so it takes us back to a, another sort of page here, which is this computer and my devices. Obviously, the only device I've got linked to my account is this machine at the minute. Let's go ahead again and go back into Ethera. And now if we go to the bottom left-hand corner, we've got our settings. And it brings up, yet again, a old style version of the program. They've not really changed this, which is, you know, a shame, I must admit. But we've got, obviously, our real-time protection there, which we can change if we want to. Our system scanner settings all there. we got internet protection, which we can enable, disable, and change all that around. And we've got all our general settings, as you'd normally have. And that is about it with Ethera. It is nice, I must admit, I do like the look on the main page, but it's a shame they haven't changed the other pages and stuff for the GUI. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.